Remember to wear gloves and perform extractions in the hood. Here's what you'll need. Some falcon tubes. And pasture pipettes. First, add the aqueous layer. Now add the organic layer. When you have your two layers, cap the tube. Now give the tube a good shake. After shaking, it's important to loosen the cap a little bit and vent the tube. Repeat the process of venting and shaking the tube about four to six times. When you're done, let the falcon tube sit still to allow the layers to separate completely. To separate layers, grab yourself another falcon tube and a pasture pipette. Make sure that you push air out as you lower the pasture pipette into the falcon tube. Lower the pasture pipette all the way to the bottom of the falcon tube. You only want to draw up the bottom layer. And transfer it to the new falcon tube. If you do this correctly, you should see only one layer in the new falcon tube. Here is an example of what not to do. On the right, there is an aqueous layer with some organic on top. You want to try and separate the layers as much as possible, and not bring organic along with the aqueous layer. Congratulations! At this point, you've completed your first extraction but there may still be some organic product in your aqueous layer. So, take your aqueous layer and add fresh organic solvent and shake it, vent it, leave it, and extract out the aqueous layer again. Do this a minimum of two more times. Sometimes during extraction, you might get what's called an emulsion, a dispersion of two normally immiscible solvents in the form of droplets. If you have an emulsion like we have here, you want to try and clear it up. Make quick, fast swirls of the tube. You could also try adding some sodium chloride solution. You want to make sure your emulsion is cleared up before you try separating the layers.